Hello, I'm Miss Angela, and I will be reading to you today. We'll be reading one short story from my second four short story book. And this particular book consists of stories titled Dit, This Is, Dot, and The Mind. But today, we're only going to read Dit. We're going to review, again, the word list. And at the end of the story, we're only going to go over nine questions. And this sh short story actually has 12 questions, but we're only going to go over nine. Okay, again, dit, table of contents, dit, the illustrator, again, is my oldest daughter, Morgan Page, and I am the author. I am dit. I am also very fit. When I do sit for very long, I play with my mitt. I also like to look at it. I eat a little bit and I do not like to hit. I sit in a pit to hide my big zit. Because I teach others to knit, I have a lot of wit. Okay? So, it says answer each question in a complete sentence or sentences. So you can do this either verbally or write your answers down, okay? Because at the end of the book, I give suggestions, reading activities that you can use with this book or any book that you are reading. So, who is the main character in this story? tell why. So, who do you think the main character is? Hmm. Let's go back and review the text, which is a very good reading skill. It seems as though Dit is the main character. And why do I think Dit is the main character because on every page of this short story, Dit is being talked about. Use pictures to tell what you think being fit is. So, we can use pictures to help us come up with meanings of words. So we have this word fit. He looks like he has his little barbells, lifting his little barbells. So why do people use barbells? Okay. So what do you think being fit is? Being fit, being healthy, Becoming healthy because you're doing exercise to build those muscles. What three letter word or term do you see in scary? Okay, scary. So again, we have a blend S C SK SK. In this case, the Y is making a long E sound. Scary. What small word 
three-letter word do you see? C-A-R. So what word is that? Pronounce these two words, us and use. Which word has the short U sound and which word has the long U sound? Us and use. So us has the short U sound and use has the long U. And how is it that you is long in this word because of that magical E? That magical E puts its power on this U, making it a long U sound. What are these four actions Okay, and action words are known as verbs of dit in this story. So identify four verbs, verbs, which are action words. Okay, so here's one. In this picture, dit teaches how to knit. So that's a verb, teach. Let's see, when I do sit for very long, so a second verb is sit. I also like to look. Look is a verb. And I eat a little bit. Eat is the fourth verb. Making comparisons. What does dit not like to do? Are you like dit? Tell why or why not. So what is it that dit does not like to do? Dit, I do not like to hit. Are you like did? Tell why or why not. What does did teach others to do? Hmm, let me go back, review the text. It says, because I teach others to knit, I have a lot of wit. So did can teach others to knit. Pronounce these two words, hid and hide. Hid and hide. So what magic letter makes the I in hide long sound? I, that magic E. Tell why hide has the long I sound and hid has the short I sound. So do you see the magic E in hid? No, but I see that magic E in hide. So that magic E makes the I long sound. What sound does the Y make in the words my and why. And my, why makes the long I sound. And in why, wh I, question word, why makes the long I. So those are all the questions that we're going to review. And let's go to the word list. Again, I'm not saying use this as us uh, to do spelling tests. No, let's have fun reading over these words and seeing if you can match 
the sounds of the words or blends to come up with the word. So we have a, I, my, am, ham, and, and, hand, land, sand, it, sit, bit, pit, what is this, knit, this is also knit, the K is silent, so knit and knit, they're known as homophones, words that sound the same but have different meanings and mit then we have kaat o making the short o sound pot hot bot now a two syllable word robot lot not tot top then eat this is also a blend, E-A, two vowels, making the long E sound, eat, then seat, E-A, making the long E sound, feet, E-A, then feet, okay? So again, we, here's another set of homophones, feet and feet, then Calls. We have the blend AU, two vowels, making the sound AH, AH, CAUSE. Then how would we pronounce this? G, AUS, GAUSE, then BECAUSE, and also BOBBLE. Okay, so now I have this device that I made. And it is called, it is called device decode. So we can use this to own, when we're trying to decode and break down two syllable words. So with robot, robot, two syllables. So let's just focus on sounding out the letters that are exposed, ro, ro, because the O makes the long O sound. Why is that so? It's followed by a consonant and then a vowel, okay? And then bot, bot. Put it together, we have robot, okay? Let's look at this one. We have because all right because so we don't want you to panic when we have these long multi-syllable words just break them down into parts we have b okay the e is a long e sound all right then we have cause because a u the double vowel makes the aw sound. So B cause and put it together because. All right. And now we have A U again, aw, aw. So let's just focus on that. Ba, ba, ba. Then we have B L E. Bl, bl, bl. So, ba, bl, ba, bl. So, put it together. Bobble, bobble. All right. And we have reached the end of practicing reading the words from our word list from the story did. We're gonna be doing a reading instruction activity. We're gonna be going over the sounds of letters, okay? Because the sounds of letters 
come together to make words. And then we're going to also, later on, we're going to be focusing on words coming together to make sentences. And then sentences coming together to make paragraphs. And then paragraphs coming together to write a composition, an essay, or a story. Because remember, what I want to do is to help you to become a strong reader. So then you will become a strong thinker and writer. So we have A, capital A, lowercase a, makes a, 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 an alligator. Capital B, lowercase b, 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 in bus. Okay, capital C, lowercase c, in car. K, k. D, capital D, lowercase d, in dance. Capital E, lowercase e, in eel. So we have the vowels e, 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 making the long e sound. Eel. F, f, capital F, lowercase f, in fire. And what letter? makes this I in fire, the long I sound, that magical E. G, G, capital G, lowercase g, in goose. All right, O, O, two vowels coming together to make the O sound, goose. Capital H, lowercase h, as in heart, all right? Capital I, lowercase i, as in icing, okay? J, J, capital J, lowercase j, as in jet. Capital K, lowercase k, as in kitchen. L, 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 capital L, lowercase l, as in lemon. M, M, capital M, lowercase m, as in monkey. N, N, capital N, lowercase n, as in night. O, capital O, lowercase o, owl. Ah, ah, owl. P, p, capital P, lowercase p, as in pirate. Q, capital Q, lowercase q, as in queen. R, R, capital R, lowercase r, as in robot. S, S, capital S, lowercase s, as in sea horse. T, T, capital T, lowercase t, as in toad. So we have this vowel, O and A. O, A coming together, making the long O sound. U, capital U, lowercase u, as in umbrella. K, 
capital V, lowercase v, as in Viking. W, w, capital W, lowercase w, as in window. Capital X, lowercase x, as in xylophone. X makes the X is sound as z, 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 and it also makes the sound X, as in the word X-ray. Capital Y, lowercase y, as in yawn, y, y. And capital Z, lowercase z, as in zipper, zipper, z, z. Now, we, let's go over some of our vowel sounds. We have capital A, lowercase a, and the long A vowel sound is A, bake, bake, because of that magic E, goes through the consonant K to make that A a long A sound. Short vowel A sound. Hat. At. Hat. Okay. The long E vowel sound. Tree. Tree. So we have a double consonant TR that makes the tr, tr sound. And then we have the double E vowel that makes the long E sound. Short E vowel sound is bed, bed, eh, eh, eh. The long vowel I sound and by bicycle. So the long, the dash over a vowel is indication that it makes a long vowel sound. Short I vowel sound is in fish. I, I, I. And then we have the blend SH that makes the sh, sh sound. Fish. The long vowel O the sound is O, as in home. H O M O O, magic E, goes through that consonant M to make that O a long O sound. Short O, vowel sound, as in dog, a, a, dog. Long U vowel sound as in unicorn, unicorn. And then the short vowel U sound is duck, a, uh, a, uh, duck. And now we have Dr. Seuss, A, B, C. Dr. Seuss, A, B, C. Big A, little A, what begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator, A, A, A. Big B, little B, what begins with B? Barber, baby, bubbles and a bumblebee. Big C, little C, what begins with C? Camel on the ceiling, C, C, C. Big D, little D, what begins with D? Donuts and a duck dog, D, D, D. Big E, little E, what begins with E? Ear, egg, elephant, E, E, E. Big F, little F, what begins with F? Four fluffy feathers on a Fiffer, feffer, feff. 
Big G, little G, what begins with G? Goat and goo goo, goggles, G, G, G. Big H, little H, what begins with H? Hungry horse, hen and hat, H, H, H. Big I, little I, what begins with I? Itchy, itchy, itch a bod, I, I, I. Big J, little J, what begins with J? Jenny Jordan's jelly jar, J, J, J. Big K, little K, what begins with K? Kangaroo and kite, K, K, K. Big L, little L, what begins with L? Lion with a lollipop, L, L, L. Big M, little M, what begins with M? Mice in the moonlight, M, M, M. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties, night shirt nose. Big O, little O, what begins with O? Ostrich oil, orange owl, O, O, O. Big P, little P, what begins with P? Painting some pajamas pink, P, P, P. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? Quack, quack, this quick queen of Quincy and her quacking quacker O. Big R, little R, what begins with R? Rosy red rhinoceros. R, R, R. Big S, little S, what begins with S? Sammy sipping soda pop. S, S, S. Big T, little T, what begins with T? Ten tired turtles on a tuttle tuttle tree. Big U, little U, what begins with U? Uncle Ub's umbrella and his underwear, too. Big V, little V, what begins with V? Vera Violin, then and her violet violin. Big W, little W, what begins with W? Willie in the wash tub, washing wild a woo. Big X, little X, what begins with X? X ray and xylophone, X, X, X. Big Y, little Y, what begins with Y? A yawning yellow yak with Yolanda on his back. Big Z, little Z, what begins with Z? A zizzer zazzer zus, as you can plainly see. Okay, and again, sounds come together to make words. So we have at, we have pen, and we can use pictures to help us to read too. Books, uh, uh, books, more than one, ends with an S, making it plural. Coat, the two vowels O, A, coming together to make a long O sound. Coat, clock, Okay, C-L, blend, making the k, k and C-K, making the k, k sound. Flag, F-L, coming together, making fl, fl, short A and G, flag. Glue, we have 
two vowels, U and E, coming together to make the U sound and GL, two consonant, coming to make, together, making the gl, gl, glue. Then we have lock. And what is this E called? That magic E that sends its magical powers through the consonant B to make this O a what type of sound? Long O. Globe. Globe. Gl, gl, O. Long O. Globe. And then we have a word, long word, that can be broken down into two syllables. Back, pack. All right. And we're going to read this book called Shh. I believe it has three chapters. And what I'd like for you to do is to point to the words as you hear them being read. And then I want you to tell me, why is this book titled Shh? Okay, Shh. And would you give this book another title? So as you hear the words being read, I want you to point to them. Chapter one, it is hot. We are hot. What can we do for fun? We can get wet. It is fun to get wet. We like to have fun. We run, we play tag. Where are zip and zap? Did they run to the pond? Are they with some other dogs? We yell, zip, zap, where are you? Then we see two dots on the hill. It must be them. So can you point to the two dots that may be zip and zap on the hill? The dogs came back. They run and jump with us. We play with them. Chapter two. Mom said, play with the baby. This is your job. I will be back. We sit with the baby. We play with the mud. We jump and slip in it. This is so much fun. There is mud on us. Gobs and gobs of mud. This is mud on Zip and Zap. They do not like dogs. They look like mud blobs. The baby sobs. We wash the mud off. We are not mud kids. Zip and Zap are not mud dogs. We can make a dam. We get some rocks. We make a dam with mud and rocks. We get some sticks. They can be ships. Some ships are big. Some ships are little. Quick, stop it. We can't fix it. The ships go down a fall. Mom comes back. Where is the baby? We did our job. Shh. So again, why was this book titled Shh? And would you come up with a different title? And remember, Letters make sounds. These letters, sounds of the letters come together to make words. 
words come together to make sentences. Sentences come together to make paragraphs. Paragraphs come together to make essays, compositions, and stories. So you may have to keep looking over this video so that you can learn the sounds of letters so that you can put those sounds together to read words and then reading words in sentences. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next episode.